Hey guys, welcome to the Hacked Existence tutorial on installing Kismet on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So this will turn your Wi-Fi Pineapple into an optimized little war driving or war walking device. Uh, the form factor is really small, you can power it from a battery, makes it perfect to just drop it into your backpack or your glove box or something like that, be able to scan while you're walking around. So I learned how to do this from the Soliloquy blog, um, but I did it a little differently, so definitely check these guys out. Um, I just reset my pineapple to factory settings, so let's go ahead and log in. And the first thing we need to do is enable WLAN 1, because we need to connect our pineapple to the internet. So in our network tab, in client mode, we'll scan for the SSIDs that are available, and we'll connect to a network that has internet access. Okay, so now that our client mode is connected to an AP that has internet access, we'll be able to download Kismet from the internet. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into resources under USB info, and I'm going to format my SD card. Um, we're going to use the SD card to dump all of our PCAP data and network data so that when we're done, we can just pop the SD card out of our pineapple dump it into a laptop or a desktop and be able to pull our PCAPs immediately into Wireshark or something like that to be able to analyze what we've come up with. Okay, so now that our SD card is formatted, we're going to need to SSH into our pineapple. So we'll just copy the IP address there and do SSH minus L root to be the root user. And we'll paste our IP address here and SSH in. So we'll accept the fingerprint, type in our password, and here we are at the pineapple prompt. So the pineapple runs OpenWRT, which uses OPKG as a package manager. Uh, it's very similar to yum or apt-get if you're familiar with those. So the first thing we'll do is OPKG update to get the latest list of packages that are available. Um, and then to search this, what we do is OPKG list, which will list all the packages but we're going to pipe that through grep and look for Kismet. So you can see we've got Kismet Client, Kismet Drone, and Kismet Server. So Kismet Client won't actually run on the Pineapple. Um, and we can use Drone for remote installs um, if we want to deploy this out in networks that we're trying to watch remotely. Um, but for now, we're just going to run a local server um, to turn this into a war driving machine. So we'll do OPKG install Kismet Server. Okay, so now that Kismet server is all done, we need to configure our Kismet install. So the first thing we need to notice is that the SD card is mounted at slash SD, so that's going to come in handy in a minute. Um, but we want a vim slash etc slash kismet slash kismet.conf. And we'll go through here and set all this up. So um, we're going to use a log prefix here. And it's going to be slash sd. And we'll look at what that does in a minute here. We don't need the trailing slash, and we'll see why uh, pretty soon here. Okay, so we need to define our source. So our nc source is going to be wlan1. Let's see. So we can leave all of this stuff default. Um, okay, so if we want to be able to connect to it uh, remotely to use Kismet Client on a different machine, we just set this to 0000, and it'll accept connections from all hosts. Um, and the same thing with this. Okay, we can even leave all this the same. So I don't have GPS. So I'm just going to set this to false, which means we don't have to touch any of this GPS configuration. Um, this can all stay stock. Um, enable sound is set to false. Uh, enable speech is set to false. And so here we define all the log types that we're going to grab. So the PCAP dump will give us a dump of all the data that's running by. 
net text and net XML will show us all the networks. Um, so that'll be really useful. Okay, so now down here in our log template, you can see that percent %p is replaced by the logging prefix plus this slash. So um, actually, let's go back up to our logging prefix here up at the top of the file. Um, and we'll change this to slash sd slash and we'll put dot kismet. So we'll have to create that directory in a minute here. Um, but for now, it's good to go in the conf file. So if we go back down here to our log template, so percent %p is going to put slash sd slash dot kismet slash, and then percent %n is the instance name, uh, which is defined a little higher up as kismet, dash percent capital D, which is year, year, month, month, date, date. So that'll give us the day. And then percent %time is hour, minute, and second. I'm just going to get rid of that because um, I think it makes the logs a little harder to figure out because this percent %i gives you an incremented log number um, and then dot .l will give you the log type. Alright, so now we've got our kismet.conf file all set up. The next thing we need to do is go into the SD card and create that dot .kismet directory, so mkdir.kismet So now we should be able to run kismet underscore server. Okay, so that's not going to work out very well because our WLAN 1 interface is up. So if we do if config WLAN 1 down, and we want to do IW config WLAN 1 mode monitor to put it into monitor mode, then we'll bring it back up, WLAN 1 up. And now we should be able to run kismet underscore server. And you can see all these networks that it's finding around me, um, giving you channel, VSSIDs, uh, all that fun stuff. So now if we go in this directory and we go to dot kismet, and we look in here, you can see our kismet logs. So if we cat kismet uh, dash two dot pcap, Dump. So you can see here's our pcap dump, um, and we can actually run that through strings instead of doing a cat. And it'll pull out all the human readable characters, um, which is pretty nice. And then the other thing we can look at is if we less kismet two dot. Uh, let's look at net text. So here's a nice little dump of all of our networks that are around us, what clients they have, uh, if they can identify the manufacturer, um, all that fun stuff. So the benefit to doing this all on the SD card is now you can just pop that SD card out when you're done war driving or war walking, pop it into a laptop or a desktop and be able to open up those PCAP dumps in Wireshark or whatever tool you want to use to analyze your data. Um, so I figured out how to do all this stuff from the Soliloquy blog. Uh, they have a nice little tutorial put together right here on how to do it. So definitely check them out and watch for updates from them. Um, but at this point, you should have a Kismet server up and running. The last thing that we'll do <coughs> is go into our configuration here and go into boot modes. And so we can set, uh, we'll just set this first one. We'll say I have config WLAN 1 down. And and I F or I W config WLAN one mode monitor and and I F config WLAN one up and and Kismet server. So now we can put those three dip switches to zero, boot up our uh, Wi-Fi pineapple, and we're good to go. Um, then I'll add one last optimization. It'll be ifconfig wlan0 down. And the reason we do that is so that when we're walking around, wlan0 isn't broadcasting an SSID, so people won't notice that we're actually walking around. They won't be able to see that SSID from the pineapple or connect to it. 
Um, and the other nice feature about that is we'll be able to take the antenna off the WLAN zero side of the pineapple, which will make it a little more compact, a little more easy to store in a backpack uh, for portability. So all we have to do is save this dip configuration and we're good to go. Now zero, zero, zero on two, three, and four there. We just flip those on, pop in a battery, and the pineapple goes off to war driving. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.